What is the most successful lie in the history? I acknowledge that I have read and agree to the above terms and conditions. During WW2, the British put fake documents on a corpse and dropped the body in the waters to be found by the Axis. It detailed an attack that never happened. Here's the best part. The plans for D-Day were found in a similar manner. The actual plans. But they were ignored cause the Nazi leaders thought it was just another ruse. One of the most impressive ones was when Great Britain convinced everyone during World War II that carrots were the reason why their vision was great when it was really the recently discovered airborne interception radar technologies. I still know people that are convinced eating carrots as kids will ensure 2020 vision for life. We don't know the most successful lie because it's a lie we don't know of yet. We are experiencing higher than normal call volume. Your call is very important to us. Every single customer service line edit my first awards with ans ever thank you god wants you to give money to the church edit why do i have 78 notifications please listen carefully as our menu items have recently changed what a disappointing thread i was hoping to hear stories of bluffs during battle maneuvers or historical political intrigue instead just a bunch of pithy one-liners blah. If you tell the truth you won't be in trouble yeah mom. I fell for that a few times and learned that lesson quickly. You are not beautiful, but you could be with this product. The lie that made a man the ruler of a third or quarter of humankind. Darius the Great, r. 522 to 486 BC, governed the Achaemenid Empire at its peak. His rule extended from the Indus Valley to mainland Greece and from the Scythian steppes to Egypt. A remarkably high and possibly unparalleled percentage of the world population were his subjects. Darius reorganized the satrapies, which made the administrative system of his empire more efficient, and introduced major financial reforms as well. It was never a secret that Darius became the king of kings after a successful coup. He and a small group of other aristocrats, Primary sources refer to seven men in total, infiltrated the residence of the previous ruler and killed him after a brief clash with his guards. Shortly afterwards, Darius, who was also a member of the royal house, emerged as the leader of the conspirators and assumed full power. So far so good. Things become strange when it comes to the identity of Darius' predecessor. As far as the primary sources are concerned, Cyrus the Great, R. 559 to 530 BC, had two sons, Cambyses, R. 530 to 522 BC, and Bardia. The former succeeded him as king of kings, while the latter was given governorship over the eastern provinces. Fearful of opposition, Cambyses had his brother assassinated, but kept it a secret. Then he undertook the campaign that ended up bringing Egypt into the Persian fold. While Cambyses was in Egypt, he started acting cruelly and erratically, suspected everyone. Disrespected the local traditions and the sort. Then a rebellion broke out back in Persia led by a Magus, Zoroastrian priest, named Gamada. The man claimed to be Bardia. And the people, ignorant of the latter's death, flocked to his banner. It also helped that he took short-term populist measures such as tax cuts. Cambyses rushed home to quell the revolt. But died on the journey. His death was listed as an accident or even a suicide out of desperation for the usurpation. Gamada got to rule as Bardia and even took over the latter's harem. Almost nobody suspected he was an imposter. Because on top of everything else he also bore an uncanny physical resemblance to the dead prince. The first man to suspect something was off was a nobleman named Otanes. Who would later become one of Darius' six companions. Otanes knew about Gomada's existence and was also aware that at some point his ears had been cut off as a punishment. So he asked his daughter, who was Bardia's, and now Gomada's, wife, to check his ears while he slept. The truth was brought to the light. Needless to say, the story was very convenient for Darius. By killing Gomada, he saved the empire from a fraudulent, cunning and ruthless liar who had gone as far as to assume a dead man's identity and risk civil war in order to take the throne for himself. Darius simply punished him for his crimes and reinstated the royal office to the house it belonged to, the Achaemenid dynasty. But what if the whole story was a lie? What if there was no Gamada? 
and the man Darius killed was the real Bardia? Indeed, scholars have noticed a lot of problems with the traditional narrative. Apart from its convenience, how could the real Bardia's death be kept secret for so long from everyone except a simple Magus, and what for? How likely is it that Bardia had a doppelganger who had also the knowledge? Courage and brains necessary to take his place at the right moment? And how is it possible that not even Bardia's wives and inner circle were able to see through Gomata's lies? Some scholars go as far as to suspect that Cambus's madness might have been the product of Darius' propaganda. Herodotus, for example, narrates that the king looted Egyptian temples, insulted the local gods and even killed the sacred bull APIs. The problem is, none of that appears in any contemporary Egyptian source, in fact. There are inscriptions showing that Cambyses honored the bull that died in 524 BC with a rich sarcophagus. If things were so, it cannot be excluded that Cambyses was also assassinated by Darius, who we know served as his spear-bearer. His death might have prompted his brother Bardia to take power. Since Cambyses was childless, Darius proceeded to eliminate him too and then created the lie about Gamata. Of course, it cannot be excluded that Bardia did indeed rebel against Cambyses, that doesn't change the crux of the matter. Which is the story about Gamata. So there you have it. One of the most powerful monarchs of antiquity and a possible lie that went unquestioned for millennia by almost everyone. Iceland and Greenland Fat will make you fat. Eating that full of sugar pre-made meal won't. That diamonds are valuable. Just get good marks in high school. Once you go to a top-tier college, your life is practically set and sorted. I have one that's not about Jeebus or religion. McDonald's lied and spread false information about that lady launching a frivolous lawsuit against them just to get rich after she burned herself with their scalding hot coffee. The lie was so successful people to this day believe the lady was just looking to make a quick buck. Another one would be the lie, propaganda distributed by the British during WW2. They claimed that carrots improved eyesight. The reality is, they wanted to hide the fact that they had invented radar from the Nazis. So they picked a food that was plentiful and well-known to be eaten by their population and claimed the improved eyesight that resulted from this allowed them to better spot German aircraft. Saddam Hussein has weapons of mass destruction. I fucking swear to God. Beethoven was Austrian. Hitler was German. Nicely done. Austria. Peace in our time. Chamberlain. Trickle down. Supply side economics. The fat is bad campaign waged by the sugar industry. The Brexit bus lie. We send the EU 350 million pounds a week. Let's fund our NHS instead. Here. Take this opioid. Our technicians swear it is not addictive. Tilda Big Pharma. There are hot singles in my area. If you work hard you'll be rich. Maybe in the old days. But there was a time I used to believe without a doubt. That Undertaker and Kane were brothers. And Kane wore a mask because Undertaker threw acid on his face out of animosity. The customer is always right. The customer is not always right. Sometimes, the customer is a twat. Mormonism. 17 million members worldwide. Made from complete and absolute utter nonsense and bullshit. Jeffrey Epstein killed himself. The Protocols of the Elders of Zion. It's indirectly caused World War II. Among other things. That surgically bigger lips look good. Napoleon was short. The cake. Columbus discovered America. Never mind the existing population here. He was about 500 years behind other European explorers. Money can't buy happiness. When I bought my puppy I was over the moon. Vaccines cause autism. Managed to convince several generations of parents not to get their kids vaccinated and because of that. All kinds of diseases that were once dead have made a comeback. That dying for one's country was the most honorable act a child could make. The richest people are that way b, c they work the hardest. That plastics are recyclable. Trickle down economics. No I'm not lying to skip school is the least successful. And, I will always come back is the most. I'm probably going to get death threats for this one. 
but that pit bulls were ever bred, used for any purpose besides fighting, mauling, and killing. The nanny dog myth is directly responsible for tens of thousands of children being permanently disfigured or killed. And people will try to dox me and threaten my family for pointing it out. It's wild. That the McDonald's ice cream machine is broken. I heard it's just a bitch to clean law. Last night, I pulled a total baddie. Yeah Dan we believe you. Keep talking buddy. Dulce et decorum est. Pro patria mori. It's not you it's me. If I would be in his, her position. I would do things completely different. And hash x200b. No you would learn why he, her is doing it and maybe. If you get really good at it you can do a little better. Tax cuts for the rich will benefit the poor. Too many Americans wholeheartedly believe Jesus was white and looked like Obi-Wan Kenobi. I have to say it. Santa. Divine right of kings. Sorry for being so medieval. Hero Brian. Your tax money is coming back to you. 100% safe and effective. Reefer Madness. Religion is the obvious answer to this question for sure. Not much else even compares TBH. The only other successful lie I can think of. Are government saying aliens don't exist, that they've no evidence of such. That, to me, would be the modern equivalent to the religion lie. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like. If you would like to see more content like this in the future. Subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified about future videos. Now check out one of these interesting videos.